Welcome back to Inside Africa, everyone. A Tanzanian beauty queen is readjusting to life without her crown after creating a major stir in her country. Richa Adia faced a chorus of criticism throughout her one-year reign as Miss Tanzania, not because of anything she did, but because of her Indian heritage. Fireworks marked the crowning of a new Miss Tanzania, a fitting end, some would say, to the most controversial year in the pageant's history. The reign of outgoing title holder Risha Adia fueled a national debate about just who is authentically Tanzanian. Born of Indian heritage, she proudly calls herself a third-generation native daughter. She says she knows no other country, but some say that is not enough. <laughs> First of all, she is not Tanzanian. She is from India and she looks like an Indian, so I feel that at the competition we didn't have a representative. An Indian can't be a real Tanzanian because Indians are never fully committed to being Tanzanian. Even if you go to school with an Indian person or live on the same street, as soon as they grow up and make some money, they are ready to leave and move to Canada or the UK. They feel that that is where they belong. Adia says Tanzania is where she belongs. When I came forward to participate in Miss Tanzania, it was because I felt that Tanzania is multicultural, multiracial. Yes. Yes. So why not, you know, why not interact, you know, with different kind of For people? Sure. And that is why I came forward. Indian Tanzanians are often accused of segregating themselves and creating enclaves. Many make a living as traders or business people, and their relative wealth has fueled resentment in other ethnic groups. The resentment, says journalist Sakina Datu, as its roots in Tanzania's colonial past. People of Indian origin were given uh, uh, given a higher value than people of, of uh, the black people. Um, and therefore, soon after uh, independence, there already was here a group of people who probably were better economically because of the colonialism and the system that was in place. Tanzania's society also has a much-deserved reputation as a mosaic. It is home to more than 120 ethnic groups, and historically, ethnic differences haven't been a big problem here. In fact, many Tanzanians willingly accept non-Africans into the fold. Indians deliver their children right here, and their children go to some of our schools. So if a pretty girl wants to be a contestant in the Miss Tanzania competition, she too should be considered. She won the competition fairly, and her nationality was never an issue. I was born and raised in Tanzania. My parents were also born here. I feel that all of us who are here and choose to live here are like family. We are one. In the view of many, the beauty of Tanzania is in its ability to find strength and meaning in its own diversity. As a footnote to that, no Indian Tanzanians competed in this year's pageant, but some contestants did describe their ethnicity as mixed. As for Adia, well, she's taking a break from all the scrutiny in her homeland. Right now, she's in Italy doing some part-time modeling. Before we go today, we have a programming note for you. You have more opportunities than ever to watch Inside Africa each week. You can catch us on Tuesdays at 0830 GMT and on Wednesdays at 0300 hours Greenwich Mean Time. That's in addition to the times that we already air. For a full list of those times, check our website at cnn.com slash inside Africa. I just say we'll be back with you next week with a look at Kenya's Olympic marathon champion and much more. Thank you for being with us. Inside Africa, in association with Zenith Bank.